for one. Let's see what happens in three, two, one, go. And we're off into the autonomous period. Red Alliance getting four discs up high real fast. So the same thing happening over on the Blue Alliance side. We have two discs so far, but here comes a Hailfire out of the Blue Alliance. That was Captain playing well alongside BarkBots. Red gets the autonomous, driver's ready. Three, two, one, go! And so once again in action, all four robots. We have a team out of Shanghai playing alongside San Jose on the Red Alliance. Cupertino playing alongside Harrisburg on blue. You see that Red Alliance robot now firing up underneath the Red Alliance goal, but just being pushed out of the way by Captain. We saw this in the previous match. Captain doing a fantastic job playing defense, and they're continuing that streak here. Meanwhile, on the other side of the field, it looks like BarkBots were trying to make their way around the the Entropy team, but Entropy just a little bit faster, trying to get that angle now. BarkBots gets one out of the three, and they have to go out and collect again with one minute to go. 392X managing to get just one disc up there due to that strong defense by Captain. Harrisburg really putting on the pressure. Same thing though happening on the other side of the field. It's the Entropy putting on the pressure on the BarkBots. BarkBots find an opening, they get two out of three up high. 40 seconds left. And it is pure defense being played by Captain and Entropy. 30 seconds now left on the clock. You see BarkBots getting up. Oh, all three bouncing out, courtesy of that Red Alliance defensive play. We're now at 20 seconds left. Rollers, two for red, two for blue. Look for more activity to happen. We've got two discs up in the last second there. 13 seconds left on the clock. And here goes the end game. Teams have been going back and forth throughout this entire match. We'll see if endgame mechanisms fire, and yes, indeed they do, out of all four robots, just in the nick of time. This was an incredibly well-balanced match between Red and Blue Alliances. Very good strategies played on both sides. We'll let Grant play the rundown for you right now. I'm down here. I've got, oh. Some of you already know. I, so, so I was actually going to start, I was, I was planning to start with, now I don't know if any of you recognize who I'm standing next to, but apparently some of you do. Who am I standing next to? Hello everyone, I'm Ben from 515R. And Ben, and, <laughs> and Ben, why do they recognize you? We haven't lost the tournament this year until now. Oh, I was going with what you did here last year. Oh yeah. Won Worlds last year as well with my old team. No big deal. Reigning world champion right here. That's right. Ben, where are you from? Uh, we are from Union, Kentucky, and we're really close to Cincinnati, so in that area. Awesome. Union, Kentucky. What did you do on your team? Uh, I do the building and driving for our team, and my teammate does programming and notebook. So you, you were the world champions last year. You uh, didn't quite make it onto the floor this year. Um, how was driving and building for this game different than last year's game? Driving and building for this game was a lot different. Last year, what you built pretty much worked first try. This year was a lot more finicky. Is that get, true? Yeah. <laughs> uh, to get stuff to work first try, or get like discs not to jam and stuff. Yeah. Driving also was a lot different. Last year, first 15 seconds pretty much won the game. This year, last 15 seconds pretty much win the game. I feel you there, I feel you there. Which one did you enjoy driving more? Honestly, they were both really fun, but last year, I'd, I'd give the slight edge to, it was really fun fighting for goals. You're an aggressive driver, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> Excellent. So, uh, 